Behind every purchase, there is a why. Beneath all the physical clutter, there is a void that needs our attention. Minimalism is simply the physical way to remove what we don't need and a segue to our hearts and mind to eliminate what doesn't belong. I started this journey of minimalism over five years ago. I couldn't believe with my eyes how much I had accumulated over the years. I was not aware how the amount of stuff around me was causing so much stress inside of me. I remember having a three-story home that would take me days to clean and organize. Every room was carefully decorated with beautiful pieces, but often useful. I had a closet full of clothes I didn't enjoy. I was working full time and devoted to church and ministry. However, I was only serving my home and life part time with little time for my family and myself. It was not until my world collapsed and I was at my lowest that I was forced to take a turn and allowed God to take the wheel, to stop believing the lies and false expectations of how to live life. I came to the understanding that I was not created to have more, but to live better. I started off by decluttering my entire home, room by room, section by section, removing everything that didn't have any purpose or value in order to make room for what did. I got rid of 90% of my items, learning to own less and live more, allowing the Word of God to be my guide and not the culture. I love to work and serve, but now my reasons for doing it have changed. I do it with intention and not out of obligation prioritizing what needs my attention. I understood the importance of not finding time, but making the time for myself. In order to listen to my thoughts and emotions, to detach from my possessions and connect with my creator. I no longer buy or keep items I don't need just because. I don't say yes to all the invites I receive or allow possessions to bring me fulfillment. My focus, time, and dedication are fully used on what matters the most. Minimalism is not just about decluttering our home and owning less. But it's a philosophy and a mindset that values quality over quantity in all areas of life, centered around the idea of owning less to live more, allowing us to be intentional with the things that we own and the space that we live in. It's a lifestyle, a lifestyle that encourages people to let go of material possessions in order to focus on experiences and relationships instead. Minimalism doesn't mean getting rid of everything and living in a space with nothing in it, including your dreams and desires, but it allows your true self to be exposed to only what you need and love. By having less, you get to focus on the things that matters most to you, being able to appreciate the things you do have without the desire to always wanting more. In a world that continues to focus on consumption and materialism, minimalism opens the door to a new way of thinking, 
rejecting the idea that we need to buy and accumulate more in order to be happy. This new way of thinking invites us to live more simply with the intentionality of the things that we allow into our lives. It's about making deliberate choices and finding joy in the beauty of life with just enough, rather than being weighed down by the burden of having and always desiring more, higher, and better. Practicing minimalism can help you develop a deeper appreciation for the things that you already have. When you have less, you tend to value them more and take care of it. This can lead to a greater sense of gratitude and contentment in life. As we begin to embrace minimalism, it's important to understand the emotional attachment that we have to our possessions. We tend to associate what we own with our identity, and this is why it's so hard to let go. But when we do, when we learn to put things aside that no longer brings value to our lives, we develop a sense of understanding, recognizing that they are not a reflection of our worth or even our identity. When we remove the things that no longer serve us, we create more physical and mental space for what truly does, leading to more clarity, focus, and gratitude. It's only when we focus on what we have instead of what we lack that we begin to appreciate life even more. Thank you for watching. Until next time.